there are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. Here's your weather video for this Wednesday, October 21st. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray, and we've got another warm, sunny day in uh, store for Alabama again today. Let's look at the upper pattern across the North American continent today, showing a strong jet stream over the northern tier states uh, there and uh, across Canada, big trough. Uh, staying to our north for the time being, uh, over the next few days, it will continue to be pretty much in that same position. You can see uh, a few short waves moving through it, one of those will push a front our way. Uh, right now that front is to the north of us, extending from a low pressure system there uh, to the north of Chicago. You can see that front extending down to the south of uh, St. Louis, uh, where it becomes stationary back along the uh, Kansas and Oklahoma border. Uh, that surface front will eventually move our way. This is um, Hurricane Epsilon. It became a hurricane overnight about 500 miles southeast of Bermuda. It will um, pass um, east of the island uh, on Thursday, uh, bringing wind and rain and some uh, surge to the island, but um, no direct impact from that and no tropical systems impacting us here in Alabama anytime soon. This is the surface, uh, this is the surface uh, chart over the next uh, four days, thanks to the NAM, uh, showing that high pressure ridge along the east coast of the United States and uh, a low-pressure system that will spin up there over the Midwest and move through the Great Lakes and into Canada. Uh, that will bring a cold front our way by the weekend, and that means increasing rain chances as we head into um, late, to, late Thursday night into Friday and uh, continuing into Saturday. Secondary front coming uh, for next week. This is, um, this is Hurricane Epsilon. Uh, now, southeast of Bermuda, this is the forecast track over the next five days, carrying it um, at its closest approach um, there on Thursday, uh, late Thursday into Friday, um, east of Bermuda. But again, not a direct impact for that beautiful island nation. Now, here's the, uh, you know, the dew points um, showing that strong front uh, eventually moving toward Alabama. This is, um, you know, this is Saturday, um, you know, Friday night, midnight, showing uh, eventually that front getting uh, close to Alabama, uh, approaching Memphis there. It will move through Alabama on Saturday, uh, giving us um, you know, some drying weather for Sunday. But another front will be approaching on its heels. Let's, go, um, let's get into um, you know, the modeling here. And uh, this is sort of a loop of the GFS over the next 16 days, you know, showing the dry conditions over Alabama right now. A few showers showing up by Thursday night. Showers and thunderstorms becoming likely Friday and Saturday. The front pushes through, drying on Sunday. Then another front arrives early in the week. Showers and thunderstorms for Monday and Tuesday. Then the brief period of clearing for Wednesday and Thursday. Um, and then another front moves through on Friday. But then we have an extended period of drier weather uh, through Election Day and into much of that following week. We'll be tracking a, a system in the eastern Pacific. And we'll eventually be watching for the potential for a tropical system in the uh, Caribbean, which we've been talking about for a while. And uh, this is what that system might look like on the GFS out toward the end of the period there, November 4th and 5th. You see a system developing in the eastern Caribbean and uh, beginning to get its act together. So there by the end of the period around November 5th, we'll have something to watch at that point. Let's go day by day on the GFS. This is today, Wednesday, October 21st. Beautiful day across Alabama, warm and humid, uh, lots of sunshine, 84 um, the daytime high on average, some lower 80s over north Alabama. We'll even see middle 80s over south central Alabama. But it should be a nice day all in all. By tomorrow, more of the same, uh, mostly sunny through the day to partly cloudy at times. We'll see a few isolated showers begin to show up uh, over southeastern sections during the day. They'll move into central Alabama during the evening hours, and uh, they'll continue into the overnight hours. Showers and thunderstorms will become more likely on Friday, um, especially by afternoon and continuing into the overnight hours. High temperatures on Friday near 80 degrees. Then as we head towards Saturday, partly sunny skies, uh, a shower or storm is possible still with that front moving through the state at that time. This is Sunday. The front's generally through here, maybe a lingering shower or two around, but we'll call it partly cloudy and mild. Afternoon highs generally around 80 degrees. And then Monday, increasing clouds, a chance of rain and storms is a second front. This one will be stronger 
Uh, at least the mention of snow has kind of gone off the, uh, uh, you know, at least off the table for Arkansas and Texas. That was kind of a freaky look on the uh, GFS yesterday. But Monday could be wet with showers and thunderstorms, highs in the upper 70s. And then for Tuesday, that front should be moving through the area. Uh, we'll say showers and thunderstorms ending an afternoon high near 75. And uh, then as we go into Wednesday and Thursday, it should be drier. But a second or a third, I guess it'll be a third front by that time, moves through on Friday the 30th. It should be a little drier, though. Could have a few showers with it, maybe a thunderstorm. We'll be watching that. Then Halloween looks beautiful across much of the country. High pressure settles in. It'll be dry and cool for that weekend. And then by Election Day, just around the corner, looks like a uh, rather placid weather pattern, kind of tranquil. Across the United States, no major weather systems affecting any part of the country. And that's good news for Election Day. These are temperatures off the national blend of models. We'll see 80s, uh, you know, for better part of the next seven days. Um, it looks like, you know, the seventies are kind of off the table, uh, through this week. And then we'll get back into that, uh, you know, by the, by the time that front moves through next week, 77 on next Wednesday, 76 next Thursday, and then cooling off, uh, behind that, uh, next front that'll be moving through that following Friday and cooling off in its wake. Weather brains this week, a great show. Mike Farrar, one of the best, uh, experts on modeling, uh, in the world, um, joined us along with Betsy Kling from WKYC in Cleveland. It's a great show. You won't want to miss it. You can pick it up anywhere you get your podcasts and uh, also at www.weatherbrains.com. Well, that's your weather video for this Wednesday, the 21st. That will be the only video today. I'll have notes on the blog, uh, complete updates on the forecast throughout the day. Scott will have a noon update and uh, a quick refresher at 3 just to uh, let you know what's going on with the forecast. Of course, we'll have uh, updates on uh, Hurricane Epsilon as it makes its journey uh, toward uh, towards Bermuda and uh, on turns on to the northeast and on out to sea. But until I get to talk to you tomorrow morning, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.